but that aspiration barely lasted half an hour. Sheffield United didn't allow them a kick in the first 20 minutes. With fullback Kevin Gage, their unlikely danger man. His second was almost an action replay of the first. Luton's attention is diverted by Carl Veart, and Gage just picks up the pieces. Luton's resources, meanwhile, were being decimated. David Priest and Des Linton were both forced off injured, and the 11 left on the field soon became 10. Gary Waddock was the last line of defence, but his emergency stop on Andy Scott was ruled a professional foul, and Waddock was off. Even worse, Sheffield United were in the mood to take full advantage of Luton's aberrations. Mitchell Thomas's pass goes straight to Veart, who, like the rest of the Blades' attack, was razor sharp. 3-0. Luton gambled everything going forward, however, and the ten men did fashion a typically well-made goal. John Hartson knocks in Julian James Cross. But the admirable emphasis on attack at one end made for a rather kamikaze approach at the other. No defence against Veart's clever back heel or the class of Glyn Hodges. 4-1, but still time for four more goals in the final 20 minutes. Brian Gale thumped a header into his own net. And suddenly United's defence were plunged into panic stations. Two minutes later, from another deep cross, Gage fouls Thomas. Luton had themselves a chance to pull it back to 4-3, which Marvin Johnson took. Only for their other fullback, James, to get in a real muddle with goalkeeper Jürgen Sommer and leave Scott an open invitation for United's fifth. Two minutes from the end, Dave Bassett's side became the first team to hit six away from home in the Ensley League. Gage's cross given another spectacular finish by Veyard. Hey,